terms of, of momentum. So let's look. Momentum this mass would be what? 8 times 10 or 80. The momentum of this second mass turned out to be zero. Okay, that was the before picture. Afterwards, what does the momentum of the first mass? Well, 10 mass times the velocity of 5, the momentum of would be 50. And the second mass, what? It's a mass of 3 times the velocity of 10. The momentum would be 30. Does that make sense? Doesn't it? Because, because initially your total momentum was 80. Afterwards, it's also 80. And that's what should, should be true. Otherwise, I might have made a mistake in my algebra. Okay. So total momentum of 4 better be the same as total momentum afterwards. But notice what happened in terms of changes. What's the change momentum of mass 1? It decreased from 80 to 50. So it had a negative 30, but basically the momentum went down by 30. How about the second mass? Its momentum went up from 0 to 30. Okay? And that's what we were talking about earlier. The change of one mass is allowed to change of the other. What one mass gains, the other one loses. The first mass started out at 80, its momentum dropped by 30. The second mass started out at 0, it rose to 30 for the momentum. So one mass lost 30, the other one gained 30. So that the total momentum always remains. So the small one has no momentum to start with, the large one has some momentum. <coughs> the large one slows down, the small one takes up. Okay. And when they come back, they'll again exchange, if you will, velocity. But the main idea again was kind of showing what I was trying to show on the whiteboard is that initially this purple mass had no momentum. And the large yellow one did have momentum. After the collision, this one went slower, it loses momentum, but that one gains momentum. Okay. So what the yellow one lost, the purple one gained, and vice versa. So what one mass loses, the other one gains. If the total external force is zero, meaning that you have no friction, you have no external influences like wind or something, if, if all that happens are internal forces, again, this is saying if the total external force is zero. Internal forces are okay. I mean, I don't care how they interact with each other internally, as long as I don't have external forces. This, this principle is, is correct. Total momentum is conserved before and after the interaction.